really curious this uh maybe i'm taking way too much out of your note that he's a hyper aggr- hi- highly aggressive and um <laughs> I'm saying, oh, highly aggressive. That must mean he's not well-rounded. I would, I would never assume that um, anyone we're seeing today is not well-rounded. Yeah, I get what you mean. But understanding, you know, hyper-aggressive, and then you could turn it down. But then you could also get back into being aggro once the Samus yeah. is kind of shook it out of their. That's the comfort. mix. The mix-up, mix-up is that. Yeah. All right. It seems we we go and game off the Dreamland. We have a laser. <laughs> We have a face cam and we see lasers, so already a couple answers <laughs> right right away. Ooh, Love that shield. Back. Shoot, yeah, it's gonna be punished a bit. It's a good up air in, and Dreamland is of course that bigger stage I was talking about. Again, the Nubby out of shield, they have not been landing that well. They are good, of course, against those unsafe moves on shield, but Fox is gonna get through to that, and that up air is gonna catch him, but Dreamland is Dreamland, and that's not gonna be it. Yeah, I, I I see the aggression coming out already, and I I, I love I love the the game plan that's being picked out. Um, the toughest thing, of course, is to keep it consistent and to survive. Oh, ledge cancel to survive there. Uh, but to survive these combos is, is definitely where the um you know where, where these this matchup comes back into Samus' favor. So yeah, we're gonna see Fox most likely win the neutral a lot. Um, yeah. As long as you know the DI stays on point, um, Fox will keep that kind of uh, advantage in the broad terms. But this is we're in for we're in for a bit of a set, man. Especially on Dreamland One, we're we're gonna have a lot to dig into going here. Especially <laughs> since the first stock is already lasting so long. As I say that, the up smash finally lands. We're all getting that first stock. 190% on struck. That's not nothing. Ooh, that grab is so tra so slow. It's gonna get funny. <laughs> I, I want to say trash, but I saw some cool stuff for it. But it's so there's the end leg of that is so insane. Yeah, I See? like to think of Samus's grab is trash, but the throws are amazing. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the best way to word it, I guess. Yeah. Oh, man, that aggression from the Ooh coming out there isn't a moment where he isn't in his face, just flying around. Two good nares in a row. Gets the grapple beam on the ledge, getting a bit of percentage in, but for now, Raul is in his element. Yeah, really smart by Raul. Ra- Raul? Raul. I know. Raul. Looks like Raul. Uh, yeah. Probably will be Raul and pronounced differently because I'm uh, I'm an American bastard. But either way, <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I, I really like the the options he's going for. Not going for a lot of um, like nares, like just typical nair stuff. And that's that's um, you know so juicy for Samus to see that ooh that uh, getting punished for using reflector for its intended purpose and uh, a juicy combo coming out of that. But yeah, it, it's important that the hits that you are putting out either are smart like that, like on shield to get out of when it's really tight. Um, as I say, that a few nares coming out. There's, there's so much. I love this matchup so much. Uh, forgive me if I. <laughs> Forgive me if I get into a bit of a. Uh... <laughs> it's like walking into a candy store, except the candy yeah. is flying all at you. <laughs> yep, it's Willy Wonka, baby. It's some walking is happening. Ooh, down there, gets the back air. Is that... No, it's not going to be it. It is going to send him very far off stage. Doesn't get quite the edge guard he wants. Gets the nair in though, but still, Raul is sitting on his second stock. Quite close yeah. for now. Yeah, I, I think the recoveries here is, is really smart because those um, those missiles were covering a ton of options and um, getting the angle back from Raul, Sprack wasn't able to close out the stock. Now, that didn't really add up to too much, but when you're talking about um, the advantages Samus have in this matchup, it's early kills. So if, if Samus isn't finding that, um, then you know he's going to have a really tough time finding any sort of advantage uh, stock lead, stuff like that. It's it's tough out here for Samus mains, bro. It really is. <laughs> oh, that shield is also really tough. Getting beat to a pulp. Very small right now. Oh, has to watch out. That down tilt up air is going to connect. It's not going to be stuck. But that second up air must certainly be it. And we're, ooh, I don't want to say ran over him game one, but it's certainly he tried to. And he ran, it, it's like the, the steam truck ran halfway through. Mm-hmm. Like half his body is covered under it. This is this is uh, reminding me of Long Island Foxes when they play. There was a, a a hot summer, maybe two, where Minty Minty Fresh was the number one Samus in Long Island, 
And um, during that time, the only way to really beat that Samus was to do what Raul's doing. And that is changing the pace always, just consistently being confusing of when the approaches are coming, when the lasers are coming, because really it's it's a matter of keep away. Uh, Fox has a much easier time landing his projectile than Samus does. Of course, there's a lower reward, but when you're talking about, you know, the, the mobility that Fox has, it's it's much easier to make those, um, to get those lasers out in smart ways versus getting hit by Samus's kind of stuff. Specifically <laughs> the yes. And so it's really, you know, I don't know when these, uh, these approaches are coming. Oh my god, double, <laughs> double spot touch down smash. Yes. That's, uh, that's some shit right there. Why not? Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I think it comes down to neutral a lot with this matchup, and um, seeing Raul be really smart with the aggression, not just doing, you know, the typical, let's say, Mewtwo King style of like, okay, I'm going to sit here and double laser over and over and over again, but really making it difficult for the Samus to put things together in a um, planned way. It, it's mo mostly like Sprock is, is hoping a lot of these things hit. Yeah, it, it's it's just like throwing out hitboxes. So not even just because they're they're hitting, but but for not even just to get an advantage. But it's the time you waste for Samus, like the time you don't give her for those setups, is also a form of advantage. Ooh, almost gets a charge shot in. No edge guard there. But as soon as you start giving Samus some time, she starts shining through. But that Firefox is gonna lead into another upper big chug of water coming through as well. He is ready for that. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Uh, that's why we gotta get those player cams. We gotta see. Uh, oh, he's drinking water. Oh, what can we derive from that as content? Good thing this uh, this is not a typical floaty matchup. This is actually uh, going pretty pretty quick comparatively, um, and I think that definitely comes down to Raul's God. aggressive nature, um, uh, making making a lot of movements here, a lot of uh, approaches that even if it's a feint, even if it's just an opportunity to retreat and maybe get some lasers in. Um, most of the time, it's leading into something. Um, yeah. But here we go. Ooh, oh, opportunity. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, now I would be remiss. I would be remiss to not mention some of these missed opportunities as a ledge dash <laughs> leads to leads to Raul's death. Um, Sprock did have a, a, a some times here we could have gotten the end. Right. <laughs> I see you, you face palming. Was that the grab face palm? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I want to see Sprock really get some uh, some strong combos here. Might be running out of time, unfortunately, but yeah. um, it's, it's, it seems like the truck is all the way through right now. Raul seems unstoppable. Ooh, goes for a very greedy, very uh, far-reaching up smash right there. Does not get it, but Raul is just moving around. Is not really afraid of that. Oh. that side B up there is gonna clutch it up. Raul taking it with a very confident 2-0. Yeah, I um, you know, you always want to see um, foxes play to their strength. I think it would have been, uh, of course, uh, a different sad story if Raul were just not able to find any footing and and you know maybe a steep lot stuff like that. But I do think that was um, him taking control of the match because Sprock was definitely showing 